All right, Jake, so what fuel are we going to use first? We're going to use black powder. We've got the gunpowder. Gunpowder. We've got the fuse. Fuse. We've got the cannonball. They're all in there. They're having a great time, and I'm here on the hill holding some flags. The magic button, don't touch it. Magic button. Mm -hmm. And I've got right here the safety switch. All right. I'm going to flip this and arm it. Red light's on. We're armed. armed. Three, two, one. I don't think this is going to work. Ignition! Oh! What's Dave doing way over there? <laughs> wow. All right, saw it. I got it. We're closer to it than he is. I know. <laughs> the first fuel, gunpowder, carried a pretty hefty bang. But the next solid fuel, flash powder, could blow it away. It's used in today's pyrotechnics. Now, flash powder burns at a different rate than black powder. Mm -hmm. And it has a different fuel and a different oxidizer. All right. So we're just going to see if it's the same as black powder or more or less. Are you ready up on the hill? Ready on the hill? I think it just woke him up. You're not sleeping up there, are you? Well, what else am I going to do? Three, two, one, fire! Oh. Oh. Wow, look at it! Look at it! Holy Basically, all that kinetic energy got transferred into potential, and it fought gravity. It almost cleared the hill, basically. A bigger blast and longer distance. The flash powder could be the one to beat. But how will the liquid fuel fare? All right, Jake, yeah. those are our two solid fuels. And now it's time to move on to the liquid fuels. Yeah, you're getting exciting. There wasn't. Yes, this is getting better each time. For the third and final test, Mike and Steve will be using gasoline as their fuel. OK, there we go. Here yeah. it goes. This is number three. Be ready. Hey, wake up. Arm. Three, two. One, lift off. Whoa! Ah, oh, you hit the tree, man. You hit we the hit tree. The tree? <laughs> oh, man, I hit the tree. <laughs> we get points for that? Since the final shot hit the tree, David can't mark where the cannonball would have landed or measure how far it traveled. Well, we, we can't do that measurement. The only way to know which shot had the most power now is for David to crunch the numbers. Now we have the high-speed footage, so we can actually do a calculation and figure out which cannonball was going the fastest and which fuel packs the most punch. And uh, hopefully that's the reason they brought me here. Delta T. That's the time David is calculating right now. If you were here, you would smell the smoke. His distance is coming out of his ears. It's David thinking right now as he's going over these numbers and calculating. That's how many feet per second. And then we'll convert it to miles. How many miles a second? Yes! What did you find out, Professor? Well, uh, OK, what was the first one? Black powder. 205 feet. Per second, or wow, that's traveling. 139 miles an hour. Fast. That was that's fast. pretty fast. That's that was fast. fast. All right, what was number two? Remember, flash Bla powder. Flash powder. Flash, flash powder. powder. 142 miles an hour. Okay. Wow. Okay. Very okay. Good. Last one. What was the last one? That was gasoline. 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 That was gas. very powerful. Yeah, 222 yeah. feet per second, okay. which was 151 oh, miles an hour. Yeah. So the winner is gasoline. Gasoline. Liquid, liquid fuels.